Yeah, I'd just like to do my thanks as well, really, for you know, Ron and myself at the Cranfield team, and I'd like to thank NERC and UKRI, really, for supporting SPF and also supporting constructing a digital environment in the program. It's been a, you know, it's been a really interesting privilege to work on this program since 2018, 2019. And, you know, we've heard all the colleagues involved in CD beyond and including, of course, John, Critty and Matisha. Thank you to them. Um, the 40 expert network members that we have, plus the many stakeholders and end users who've been involved in the program. Um, you know, and today, all the speakers and panelists, thank you very much to you and uh, thank you all for coming as well. And, you know, to the demonstrator and feasibility research teams. So it's, a, it's an absolutely enormous um, span of uh, science that's been going on. Now, we've had a lot of evidence, I think, uh, today of the strengths and, of course, the limitations of digital environment. Uh, you know, as Ron said at the beginning, it started with a, a difficult definition of what digital environment was. As Professor McWheelan noted, you know, we've come a long way, um, and we can look back to, to that time, 2018-19, the, the commencement, uh, you know, and also we can look to the future. Very interesting talk from Paul Davis about the explosion of, of the, the data and the technology that goes with this. I feel we've uh, supported and uh, developed science across uh, an arc of technology. It's an it's analogy that we've used a lot over the last years, from sensors to edge to the transport of data to the holding of data in lakes and the analytics and visualization that goes with this, but also the legal and the ethical and the um, focus of, of what we do with this data and what it means as well. So lots of examples of the impact of our projects and engagement with translational and operationalized um, digital environmental science. Uh, I think the future opportunities are, are growing and, and they're immense. Um, so I think there's a need to plan now for future, future science. We've heard about some of the opportunities. You know, what is a quantum future? What does that mean? Autonomous processes, we've heard lots about that digital twinning, deep learning and the application of AI to these um, intractable wicked problems, novel sensors and, and the, the whole, all the challenges around those data transport, curation of data and the description of data, metadata and so on. Also the importance of trusted computing, trusted data and standards and ontologies. And th these are issues that were picked out in the NERC digital strategy. These are themes that are there. So I think CDs provide us a, a very fruitful foundation and a unique record that, that will now be there for, for us to consult. And we've heard about the future funding support going forward, biodiversity monitoring and twinning, and we look to an exciting future. So thank you all very much. I guess that concludes proceedings for today. Thank you very much.